Hi, it's Barbara. Welcome back to Wiki Design. Today I'm going to show you how to customize your WooCommerce emails. This is part of a series of videos that I'm doing on WooCommerce, so if you're interested in learning more about the platform, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload new videos. So what do I mean by WooCommerce emails? These are the emails that your customers will receive once they've placed an order or created an account on your website. And these are also the emails that you'll receive as an admin. We do have the ability to customize a few of the settings regarding these emails. In order to get to these settings, you'll want to click on WooCommerce, Settings, and then click Emails. It is a little bit hidden within the platform, but once you get there, you'll see all of the emails that are being sent out to either customers or to you as an admin. If we scroll down a bit on the page, you can see that there's this email template area. Now, if we click on that, you can see what the email template looks like. Now, I've already customized these to reflect my branding, but if you didn't customize this, it would just be the generic looking template that WooCommerce provides. In order to change these settings, we want to go underneath in this area. So we can put in our own header image. So if we wanted to upload our logo or a custom header, we could do that and then paste the link in here. So first we'd have to go to our media library and then we'd have to upload the image and copy the link. So in order to do that, you'll just want to hit add new on the media library, upload your image. And then once it's uploaded, you'll just click on the image that you want, hit copy URL to clipboard, and then you'll go back to these settings and you'll paste that link in here. We also have the ability to change the footer text. So I've just changed it to a copyright 2021 wiki design. And then we have the ability to customize some of the different colors. So the base color, the background color, the background of the body of the email, and then the body text color. So I just put in my brand colors in there. And then if you hit save changes, it will update the template. So this is for all of the emails that are being sent out. They'll all have that similar look, but you do have the ability to customize emails individually as well. We can go to manage on any one of these emails and we have some additional settings. Now, the settings aren't that great. If you do not know how to program, I don't recommend doing this. But if you are more familiar with programming and you understand what email templates are, then go for it. In order to customize the email template, you are going to have to copy the file into your theme. You can do this by clicking here. You also have the ability to view the template. So if you view the template, you can see what it looks like. If you're not familiar with this, I really don't recommend customizing your email templates this way because you could run into issues where the email doesn't send. But this is how you do it if you are a developer and you understand the platform. And you can do this for all of the emails on the website. Now, what if you're not a developer and you still want to customize the emails? What you are given within those simple settings is just not enough. You want to add some different features, add some more customizations. What do you do? Well, you'd have to go with the plugin route. And that is something that I think is really lacking within the WooCommerce platform. I think there should be natively a way to better customize the emails without having to literally upload a new template and customize the code. But there are a few plugins available for use that make things a little bit easier. This is one that I recommend using, the Cadence WooCommerce Email Designer. This is a completely free plugin that gives you a lot of different options for email customization. One thing that I like about this plugin is that they give you the ability to load in pre-designed templates and those templates look a lot better than what the WooCommerce template looks like out of the box. So this is one that I recommend using. It's totally free and you can do a lot 
with the customization. You can even customize the body text of the email, which is something that you can't do with some of the other plugins that you have to pay for. So this is one that I totally recommend installing. I went ahead and installed the Cadence WooCommerce email designer plugin, and I'm going to show you some of the different settings that are now available for email customization. In order to get to these settings, you'll want to go to WooCommerce and then Email Customizer. There'll be a new link under there. This will pull up a bunch of different settings that were not available natively in WooCommerce. So we have our email over on the right hand side and then over on the left, we have a lot of different options available. What's really cool about this plugin is there are these pre-built templates. So you can load one of these templates in and you already have so many more settings. So if I wanted to select this template here, I could just hit load template, hit OK, and then it will load that template in for me. So these are really great starting points if you're not a designer and you just want something that looks nice and clean. You can use this and customize it to your liking. And then over on the left hand side, there are so many different options available for customization. You can customize really everything about your email that you couldn't do before natively in WooCommerce. So I really like this plugin a lot. It has a lot of different features. It has a lot of abilities and you can really get down to the nitty gritty as far as the design goes for your email. You have the ability to really customize every portion of the WooCommerce emails. And I just love the way that this plugin works and the fact that it's free. If you want some more customizations with your emails, I do think that this is the way to go. Unfortunately, WooCommerce doesn't have a really good system for customization. I think that this is something that is really lacking with the platform and hopefully they'll make improvements to it so we don't have to install additional plugins in order to do this. But for the time being, this is what I recommend doing if you want to customize your emails. Hopefully you found this video helpful and got some good information on where to go to customize those WooCommerce emails and what plugins to use to really make them great. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.